Oh. Just, just, oh. Just, oh. You know? No words, just, oh. I love you. I love you. Oh. Stop it. It's just lunchtime here at the studio. What are you having for lunch? Or breakfast or dinner? Right now, tell me. Pop on the comments, what are you having? Do it. I want to know what you're eating right now. Pies first. That's what I should say. Pies first. <laughs> Smashed it. Pie pie. If you're on the Gold Coast, it's a must. It's a must. Not sponsored. Wish. <coughs> <coughs> wow. <coughs> Are you serious? Well, that's one way to do it. It's got ripple over my face. <coughs> what a muppet. Apologies for that. <laughs> that was way more sparkly than I thought it would be. What is up you sexy beasts? Hope you guys are doing fantastic. My apologies about the coughing fit there. Over the last couple of days, I've been doing these edits using Final Cut Pro and a plugin called the Brush Glow plugin from Pixel Film Studios. Um, I'll show you a few examples now. <laughs> I actually did do a brush glow tutorial not too long ago, but I found out a few things about the plugin since then. I've been playing around with it and been getting quite creative and quite good with it, I think, I feel. And I've had a bunch of good feedback over the last few days with these little clips I've been putting together. So I thought I will do one from start to finish and record the whole thing and you can watch along uh, and maybe try it out yourself. So first things first, uh, this is a plugin for Final Cut Pro, but I believe there are similar plugins and abilities in other softwares, um, but that's what I use. And with all the ones that you saw, I actually did using the trackpad on my computer, on my Mac. But today I'm actually gonna use the sidecar function. That is when you link up a second screen to your Mac using your iPad. Cool, so that way I can actually use my eye pencil and perhaps get some nicer, clearer lines rather than using my finger on this pad. So this is my first time actually doing this, so we'll see how we get on. So I've chosen my photo I wanna use, my good buddy, Mr. Noah Olsen, doing a ROMWOD here in Miami on South Beach. And I've also got my, my drawing I wanna do. Now, um, as good as I am, I'm not that good when it comes to freehand drawing. So um, I actually trace everything. So all the clips you saw earlier is me taking an image from the internet and just tracing it rather than hand drawing it. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not an artist, I'm just a good tracer. So I've got my image on the top layer here. I've just put the opacity down to zero. So if I bring that up to 100, you see that's my image there. So I'm gonna use that to kind of trace uh, around Noah. So I just throw the image on top of the photo, bring the opacity down to I don't know, 25% that should do there. Gives me enough to work with, maybe a bit more, maybe like 30%. And now I can go ahead and just trace uh, trace that image, trace the, the words happy but hungry, get rid of that image, and then all that will be left will just be my beautiful brush glow tracings, which looks amazing. So let's get straight into it. We're gonna go ahead and connect the Mac to the iPad. So top right-hand corner here, that is the sidecar option here. I'm gonna connect to the iPad. And hopefully that's gonna give me a little boom. There we go, we're connected. Now within Final Cut Pro, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the window button. Under window, we can find the secondary screen settings and I want the viewer, the viewer to be on the iPad. There we go, so now we've got Noah on my iPad here so I can actually go ahead and draw on him. Next up under generators, I'm gonna find the Pixel Film Studios brush glow effect. Uh, this project is in 1080, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the 1080 Brush Glow plugin, drag it on top. Okay, now for the important stuff, the settings here. So, so now on the right hand side here, I'm gonna set the color and the size of my brush. So I'm gonna go for a plain white brushing. For these, I like to set the size to five. And down the very bottom, I'll set the prism amount to zero. It's quite intense as it is. Now, the most important part of this whole thing, it won't work if you don't change this. Up the top here, you've got two options. You can do uh, the draw mode can be frame by frame, 
or it can be <clears throat> add to subsequent frames. We definitely want to add to subsequent frame uh, for this kind of effect where the word just the words keep getting drawn and they stay on the screen. They don't disappear after each frame. So make sure you switch that to subsequent frame. I normally leave the first frame empty, so I'll just skip over to the second frame. Cool, and now we can start drawing. I'm gonna start with the H up the top left hand corner here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a uh, just a little line to start with. Skip to the next frame. Do the next line. Skip to the next frame. Draw the next line. Now the longer you draw the line, so the longer the line is, the faster the writing will happen. The shorter the lines are per frame, the slower the drawing will happen. So um, yeah, so I will just continue doing these little uh, drawings around. I will fast forward to this part because it is pretty tedious. Um, but I literally, I draw a line, I skip one frame ahead, I draw one line, skip one frame ahead until I've done the whole thing. tracing the happy but hungry really not happy with the way it went on the eye pencil it was super delayed and just shaky so what I can see on there now I'm not happy with but um, you just never know if we turn off the opacity on here so we're just left with the actual writing and we go ahead and play this back happy but hungry so yeah, not super happy with that, but I think if we kind of embrace that rugged, shaky, delayed look that we got there, uh, we can actually take advantage of that and make it look a bit more uh, grungy, a bit more rustic. Once you start filling in the words, which we'll do next, and also add a few like paint leak kind of effects, um, which I'll show you, it might actually end up working well together. So we'll see. So the next thing that's a must do is you have to save this canvas. So top right hand corner here, uh, if you select the actual brush glow layer, you hit save canvas. Now all the work you've done is good, hopefully. Don't do that to me. That's good. With Final Cut, it automatically saves all your progress, but for some reason this plugin does not. So if you quit out of Final Cut, uh, all that work is lost. So make sure you save the canvas and then it's actually there, good to go. So I like to do these as, I guess, like a boomerang effect where the image or the words that are filling in, once they're fully filled up, it kind of stays on that frame for a bit and then it kind of reverses and erases all the text again. So what we have to do now is basically copy what we've just created, reverse it so it goes the other way, um, but letting it pause for a little while so you can actually read what's, what's been written and then reverse it. So we're going to do that now. I probably wrote too slow to be honest. I could have wrote, I could have drawn longer lines to make this fill out a bit faster. You can always fast forward it and post once you finish. I'm going to go ahead and copy it by just hitting Command C, paste it, Command V, and now we've got two of the same clips. So the second clip that we've just copy and pasted, we want to flip that around so it's in reverse. Now, if you highlight the clip and you go up to the icon here, that allows you to speed things up change the direction you'll notice that the actual reverse clip uh, icon is um, as you can't click it it's disabled so all you have to do is you have to go ahead and create a compound clip out of that second second one so I'll just right click create a new compound clip save it and now you should be able to go in and actually reverse the clip beautiful so now if we play it back it'll finish writing hungry it'll pause for a bit and it'll start reversing the process the other way So what I'm going to do here, I'm actually going to go ahead and delete the second clip. And I'm going to speed this first one up. I'm actually not happy with how slow it's going. So I'll just speed this up times two. Again, we're going to have to create a compound clip first to make any changes to it. So compound clip, speed it up by two. Might be too fast, let's see. I'm a lot more happy with that. That's better. Yeah, cool. So we're going to go ahead now and just copy and paste that. And we'll reverse the second one. Reverse clip, and here we go. Let's see. Pew. Pause and reverse. Happy with that. Boom. Cool. So now we're going to go ahead and actually color in all the words with some little dots. Now I just do 
random dots, random sizes. I just do as many as I can to try and fill out the word. I kind of don't want to go back to the iPad, but I'm going to push through and do this whole video on the iPad with the eye pencil. Um, let's see, maybe it's a better with the dots rather than the actual drawing of the lines. So we're going to go ahead and add another brush glow 1080 layer, and we'll just drag it to the uh, end of the first clip. So again, we're going to reverse this, so you don't have to do it um, to the halfway mark, and then you can go ahead and reverse that clip again. So once again, we're going to go ahead and select um, white, now for the dots, I like to make the size seven. The prism amount will still be zero. And again, the most important thing is to change it from frame by frame to add to subsequent frames. So now we're ready to go, we're ready to start drawing. Go to that second frame. I'm gonna enable the sidecar again. Hopefully it works better this time. Let's see, sidecar is engaged. We'll go to the window, secondary display, viewers. Okay. So what I also like to do now is just, um, again, turn up the opacity a little bit on the little image that I had, just so I can kind of see the words a bit better, see where I color in. Okay, here we go. So it's gonna do a little dot, boom. This might work actually, nice. Skip to the next frame, do some more dots, and I basically just follow along doing dots of different sizes. Skip to the next frame and so on. So again, guys, I'll just forward through this because it's gonna be painful and I'll see you on the other side. Okay team, part two is done that's adding the dots or whatever shapes you want to include inside your picture or your writing. So let's uh, just quickly turn the opacity down to zero on that and see what we've got. And see how much better that looks with the dots compared to without the dots. It just covers up a multitude of sins really, so it takes attention away from the very average tracing that I had to do with that stupid pen. So now what I'll do is, again, I'll uh, just duplicate this clip. Create a compound clip out of it. And I'll flip it around, reverse it. Flip it and reverse it. Here we go. Brr, happy but hungry. Pause. Brr, oi, didn't work. Didn't work. You know why? Because I probably didn't save that first clip. Okay, so again, very important. Save canvas. Don't forget to save canvas. Once you get that notification, you know you're good to go. Uh, let's copy that. Paste it. Okay, that's working now. Reverse it. Ooh, we gotta create a compound clip first. Listen to your own advice, mate. Compound clip. Reverse that bad boy. And we're in the money, yes. Okay, happy with that. Last thing I'm gonna add here is just a few uh, like paint leaks. So I'm gonna add one last layer of brush glow. I'm gonna stretch it across the whole image from start to finish. Uh, I'm gonna go again, make sure I select the add to subsequent frames. Go for the white. Go for the size seven. Okay, so now, all I'm gonna do here guys is, I'm gonna go ahead, skip forward to about there, about there, and I'm gonna go ahead and just draw a couple of lines here, kind of leaking off the H. Let's go a bit bigger, let's go 400, just so we don't make any mistakes here. Okay, so I'm gonna draw a line, a line straight down. I like to do a longer line, and then a shorter line. And essentially what it's going to look like, look like, it's going to look like it's like some paint or some spray paint dripping off the H, like that. I think that's really cool. So I'm going to just go ahead and place a few of those around randomly, around some of the letters, not all of them. Um, and yeah, that just finishes off nicely. So I'll quickly speed through this, do the little leaks, and then we can check out the final product. I think we're done. Boom. Happy but hungry and reverse. Done it. Now, I'm gonna go above and beyond and add some uh, 
add some sound to this. So uh, I've got a video somewhere of Noah um, taking a class. At the end of class, he got everyone in to put their hands in the middle and he said, three, two, one, happy but hungry, and the whole class yelled that out. So I'm gonna go and find that video and um, I wanna add that sound, that noise, um, I wanna add that voiceover or that sound clip to this. That's better. Nice, I like that a lot. Export this bad boy. Here is the final product that we created in the last hour. One, two, three, happy go hungry! One, two, three, happy go hungry! That's it team, hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that like button. If you're not subscribed yet, I'd love for you to be part of this community. Try and get this channel to 1,000 subs, so help a brother out. And uh, if there's any other tutorials you'd like me to do, I would love to know, so drop a comment. All right, team, stay sexy. Peace. You're still there, aren't you? Yeah, no, good. I'll just go now. See ya.